Sometimes you want to visualize a portion of your plan in 3D, but using a 3D modeling sometimes is not an option because it requires a lot of effort to make it presentable. So in those cases, there is another option of using a hand-drawn axonometric using a 45 degree projection to visualize spaces like these. So the very first thing I've done is I've actually imported a PDF of the drawing set that I've done for uh, the client on this project. And I started with this plan over here. And then I copied this plan and rotated it to get the base information on the drawing. So this sort of axon metric relies on the scale a lot. So the first thing we'd have to do is to check if the scale is correct. We can use this tool over here in Morfolio to just make sure that whatever the width of our walls is represented correctly. Once the scale is set up, uh, the other thing to do is to make sure that the height of the room is set up correctly. Now, because I have the plan over here, I don't really have to worry about the size of the things on the plan that much, but my height of the room is 2.5 meters. So that's the first thing that I wanna do is to mark that up. And that will allow me to then draw the outline of the room. Might wanna choose a thicker line for this first pass. I'll just do it very really roughly. And that way I can set up the outline of the room like so. So I'll just show the drawing that I have set up previously, which is this one here. And you can see how it's kind of rough and ready, but it shows the basic heights being marked up, such as the door. Uh, the windows are about 1.5 from the ground to the sill. These kitchen units at the lower end are 900 high uh, to the countertop. The other thing that I kept in mind when drawing this up is that we only really have three ways to go. We can either go sideways, we can go up, or we can go another way. And that's essentially how we draw using this axonometric, which is handy and quick because we only really need to know, um, say if this is a two meter fridge, we can set that dimension over here and we don't really need to know the height of the other lines because by projecting them up and having crossing them, we can figure out the dimensions and the relative positions. So that's what makes this projection method compared to the other ones really powerful because it doesn't need any sort of weird scaling. Everything is one to one. There's one downside with this projection is that because we can't adjust the view plane of our plan, annoyingly it does sometimes lead to things being blocked. So for example, I have these high level kitchen units at this corner of the plan and annoyingly they're blocking quite a lot of the drawing. So in my final sketch over here, I've actually added another layer on top over here that kind of follows the edge of the countertop so that I can demonstrate to the client how this U-shaped countertop works. Another thing that I've done is I've separated the tiles on this drawing on a separate layer. That was done just to control the opacity of these tiles. Sometimes it's useful to reduce their opacity so that they don't draw attention as much because they can be quite dense. In this case, I quite like like to keep them. The way I've set them up is I've used the ruler again uh, to mark up the dimensions. Annoyingly in Morfolio Trace, uh, ruler doesn't actually have increments very well labeled. So you do need to zoom in in order to see the sizes better. So in my case, I wanted 15 centimeters tiles for the top part of the splashback. And then I wanted 30 centimeter tiles on the ground. So one neat trick that I've discovered is that instead of kind of zooming in and out like this to set up the increments of the tiles because you know I kind of have to zoom in to see the increments 30 60 90 120 on the floor and then I run out of space so instead of kind of zooming and then zooming back in I can actually move the drawing itself to that last increment before starting the process all over again stylistically I kept the drawing very simple I had three types of lines the 2.26 for the finite detail and uh, then the 3.2 for the window reveals and also the main cupboards. And then lastly, I think I used 6.4 for the walls. It's very easy to read this drawing because of that, I think. I also didn't go overboard with the details because there's a point where, you know, adding more details doesn't actually convey more information. The, the thing that I like most about this approach is that it only took me 30 minutes to set this up. And I think it conveys a lot of information that's otherwise not available on the plan. It gives the first impression of the space but it also you know allows to see the 
height of these windows and the height of various features that are hard to see without setting up elevations. And with that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out some other videos on this channel. I make content on architectural drawings and how architects can save time by drawing more efficiently and faster using digital tools like Morfolio Trace. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.